Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm talking about how I've got 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. Yep, bit of a shock, I know, but it's happened so I'm here. So this is a thank you and maybe a bit about uh, what's in store in the future for this channel and a bit about me, I suppose, and kind of my life and stuff, uh, just in case you're interested. I'll put that at the end because you might not be interested in that. You might want to know more about what's in store for the channel. So uh, first of all, a big thank you to uh, all the people that donate. I've got my notes down here, uh, just so that's why I keep looking up and down. Uh, so all the people that donate, I really appreciate that. Uh, patrons, subscribers, people that watch an advert, I think that really makes a difference actually. And just generally people that like and subscribe. I, I, it all uh, makes a big difference and very much appreciated. Um, so I'm going to try and get more free stuff for uh, the channel, well I say free stuff for the channel, but so I can just sort of do some giveaways and competitions and things uh, to try and give back, uh, try and use the numbers of subscribers to some good and maybe give back to you guys out there. Uh, that's my plan anyway, it's always uh, easier said than done. Uh, sponsorship can be really awkward and difficult. so. Uh, I'll, I'll do my best <laughs> in that terms. Also as a thank you, I've got, uh, um, was it, two courses. Uh, yeah, I've got two courses. Uh, one character course and one drawing course and uh, I'm going to put those for $9. Uh, so the offer ends Sunday evening. Uh, that's as cheap as they ever get. Uh, so uh, if you're interested in the courses and you haven't yet uh, taken the plunge, they're well worth it. Honestly, they're really good. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a small thank you, I know, but it's uh, one way of uh, giving back to you guys. The links will be in the description for all these things that if I mention anything else, anyway, the links are in the description for that. One thing that's been different recently is the fact that I've been doing sort of paid for courses. I was worried at first, I thought I was gonna sort of be selling out a bit and uh, that uh, I should be doing everything for free. Uh, but when uh, Rick got in touch with me from Game Dev TV, and I'm very thankful to him actually, um, he convinced me that that was actually a good thing uh, to do paid for courses. Uh, and yes, I was sort of worried about selling out um, I wanted everybody to be able to access uh, the content and not have some sort of paywall behind it. But uh, with Game Dev TV, the courses are quite cheap. Uh, they use, they're quite often discounts, so they uh, usually uh, get quite low in price. And they're sort of uh, mass market, but high quality. So um, I thought if I'm going to go that route, I'll go with Game Dev TV. And it's been a really good experience. They're a really nice team. Uh, they've got the uh, customer uh, at the forefront rather than making money. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to do a sell, it's just a, 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 a yeah, <laughs> I don't, but you, you know what I mean. They're nice guys uh, and that's, that's wonderful to work with nice people. That's my main thing really. Uh, I just want to enjoy life, uh, have fun and be a nice good person to other people. Yeah, it always comes back, doesn't it? That karma thing. My worry with this obviously was that some people won't be able to access it, those that couldn't afford it. So I try as much as possible that, although there's stuff on the courses, I try and release as much as I can through YouTube. So you could possibly sort of get to that level through my YouTube. I'm sure other people's YouTube as well. That's how I got there. I just uh, got here, as it were. Uh, I've just been watching YouTube. I did uh, some courses, uh, not that many, but uh, some courses uh, and tried to do it all uh, without paying for it. I know that sounds a bit cheapskate, but uh, that's kind of the, the avenue I took. So I'm trying to give back and enable other people to do that. And I know not everybody can afford these things. So try as much as possible to do that. The courses though have allowed me to actually put more in so I can put more detail in. I don't have to be quick because I don't ha I'm not a slave to the YouTube algorithm and the YouTube mass audience who like really short videos, generally speaking. It's not everybody. And if you're watching this, you're probably actually more of a fan uh, and therefore are prepared to watch a, a longer length of video. But for most people, it's just, oh, they quickly want some answers and move on. Uh, so it can be difficult. And if you do a course, you can be more structured about it. And you don't have to worry about uh, all the, the audience. And um, obviously you're worried about the audience, but uh, the, that mass audience, you're not worried about them so much, which is a good thing, I think. Um, so doing both, I think, is the perfect marriage, as it were. Lots of people ask me about YouTubing and how much you can earn with it and stuff like that. I did a video uh, a while back. It's obviously changed since then. And I, you're not actually supposed to tell people what you earn as a YouTuber. I didn't realize that was in the contract things. The video is still up, but uh, hopefully I'm okay with that. <laughs> but generally speaking, it's about a thousand views will get you one pound in, in the UK. It's different for different countries, uh, but that's generally the, roughly how it works. Mine's slightly higher actually, which is nice because obviously people are watching the ads to support me. So thank you very much for that. Um, but the bulk of my income actually comes from selling courses 
uh, and my freelance work and sponsorship that I get. So I get sent things and then I can kind of sell them on graphics tablets, like display tablets. I'll test them out and then sell them on. And uh, so I get some money from that, some money from uh, people donating. Uh, so it's sort of uh, lots of pockets adds up to a reasonable wage, which is nice uh, and I'm, I'm comfortable. The problem with YouTube tutorials though is that you're always trying to make stuff look good even though it might not be the best for the viewer. So although uh, let's say you want to make a brilliant amazing game character, uh, most people, uh, the mass audience, uh, want that character within 10 seconds sort of thing. You know, They're not really willing to put in loads of work. This I'm talking about the mass audience. Those people are sort of dropping in and out. Uh, so the core listeners and if you're if you've got this far through the video you're probably one of them um, those people um, uh, are prepared to um, put some work in uh, the other people you're you're sort of who are the more the mass audience who you're trying to get because you need all those numbers of views uh, you have to do things that look good and are really easy really quickly sort of really quick easy wins uh, that take no technical knowledge and skill so it's, it's very hard to come up with those and um, I try not to sell out in that sense with my YouTube channel but you can't help but worry about the views a lot and a lot of my uh, courses if you look at the blunderbuss course that I'm doing at the moment the first video does really well and then a drop off is about to half and then it drops down and it sort of stays stable about that level um, so it's it's not easy uh, in that sense trying to suit everybody and uh, you get some it, most of the time I get some really nice comments about uh, wonderful teacher thank you for saying those sort of things um, but occasionally you get negative comments like uh, this is this course is getting spammy <laughs> <laughs> uh, or um, the worst comments I have about my teeth. Yep, I've got a, a big gap between my teeth. Uh, I do know about it. <laughs> you don't need to remind me. <laughs> and uh, I smile a lot as well. So that gap is even more noticeable. Uh, but I try not to get self-conscious, but it's hard because, um, you know, every about maybe once every two months or something, someone will mention it. I think, oh no, the gap between my teeth. So it's weirdly that it's surprising how much that gets to you. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly thick skinned, but it's surprising. Like I say, if you get, you only need about five negative comments in over like half a year and it sort of starts getting you down a bit. It's surprising. Even though there's all those positive comments, it only takes a few to make you think, oh no, uh, am I not doing this right? Am I ugly or <laughs> so? Uh, if you are becoming, a, if you're thinking of becoming a YouTuber, you need to kind of get over yourself in a sense and not worry about what you look like, how you sound, all those sort of things. But uh, that's that's for another blog post. Uh, that which brings me on to what's next. So at the moment, I'm working on my website. I say I'm working on my website. I've got someone working on my website who was kind enough to say I'm, I want to help you out. Your website's really rubbish, and I can help you here. So uh, they're working on that, and hopefully that will be released soon. Uh, I think that will help because um, like YouTube isn't the great for sort of sequential courses and things and it's very sort of uh, entertainment based rather than course based so going onto the website is probably a better way of going through my courses and things and that's all the, the, the YouTube, the free stuff anyway. Um, I, my goal is to make Blender accessible to everyone. Uh, it's it's not an easy program. 3D animation and uh, digital art is not easy and there's lots of technical aspects to it so um, as much as I can uh, break that down and make it easy for people uh, the better and then uh, it gives people more opportunities and that's kind of um, who I am. Very sort of socialist thinking. Uh, and that's a bad word in some places but socialism is actually a good thing. It means you're looking out for one another. Uh, it's kind of been tainted and uh, made to look bad but it's actually a good thing. But I'm, I'm, I am actually quite political but I try not to be. <laughs> My main thing is that I try and support other people and uh, you know it's that one of those uh, give back reach out and love that's that's my philosophy uh, and I don't think you can be angry for me at that <laughs> you know, notice how I tread very carefully through these things and you have to uh, whenever you're sort of doing uh, mass audience stuff it's surprising how much hate there is out there if you're not careful <laughs> um, what where was I going I, I might do some live streams uh, maybe but they're, they're tough to fit in uh, tough to justify really uh, with all the other things that are going on because obviously I've got to try and make an income and end up particularly uh, fruitful in that sense. Uh, they're good fun but they are exhausting as well because you're desperately trying to 
uh, help everybody out there. Uh, so it's, it's a tough one. And uh, sometimes people get annoyed how slow I go and all these sort of other things. So maybe I'm better doing tutorials uh, in my other format where I can edit my videos and things. So it's not easy. Um, I do quite like blog type things like this. Uh, that's good fun. So I might do more of these. Um, but they don't get many views. So again, um, it's whether it's needed, uh, whether people want to see it. Uh, it's a tough one. Hey, you can let me know what you want to see. It's probably tutorials and that's for the most part. And that's fair enough as well. Uh, I'm happy doing those. Um, I also uh, still doing a lot of freelance, uh, had to cut down on that a fair bit because of the courses as well. The courses are more fruitful than the freelance work. Uh, so, but I do really like the freelance because I feel like I'm getting better whilst doing that. It's important that I grow as an artist as well in order to offer you more stuff. You can't just teach all the time. And that's a problem with being a college teaching. It's very difficult to learn yourself. You kind of stagnate, I feel like, and giving everything to students, whereas I want to be able to grow and give back at the same time. That's important to me. Uh, so that's what's next uh, for the channel. I think that's, uh, yeah, that's most stuff. <laughs> uh, hopefully this is slightly interesting and maybe entertaining, I don't know. Uh, if you're interested about me, this is the about me section. Um, I call myself a digital artist, but I'm more of a teacher really. Uh, I do uh, freelance stuff as I talked about. Uh, on the other side of things, I, I like uh, really like playing sport, uh, mainly football, that's my big thing. So I play a lot of football. I keep getting injured all the time though, so I do loads of exercises to try and stop myself being injured because I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sort of falling apart and then I do more exercises to try and stop, my, like physio exercises to try and stop falling apart. Uh, it's, it's a never ending circle of exercise. So I'm very much into fitness and looking after myself. Um, I live uh, in Ipswich, well I say in Ipswich, just outside Ipswich, uh, near nearish London in the UK, uh, in Britain if you want to call it that, England. Um, I have kind of a weird lifestyle, uh, health obsessed as I've said. Uh, because of all the sport. Um, I don't drink, I don't eat refined sh uh, stuff like sugars, no bread or things like that. So uh, I'm kind of weird to hang out with because I don't go out to eat because I can't, <laughs> I can't go anywhere. Um, I suppose uh, I'm a, a vegan as well. That's sort of uh, weird to some people. I'm not one of those weird vegans though that says everybody's got to be vegan. I, I understand that other people want to eat meat uh, and that I don't want to uh, judge anybody. That's very important for me, not to judge people. Uh, too much of that goes on in the internet. Uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm probably overly competitive. That's I don't think that's a good thing about me. That's one of my bad traits. But it does mean that I'm very focused. Um, and I try not to be competitive because uh, you just end up feeling rubbish. Uh, I play a lot of chess. And uh, when I lose a chess game, I get really annoyed with myself and get a little bit depressed for five minutes and then move on and then lose another game. <laughs> <laughs> lose a lot but that's good for you losses are good for you uh, it's uh, failure is all part of the learning process uh, it's good to fail it's good to lose it's good for me anyway I know that I love the outdoors I love being outside but uh, that's why uh, balance is really important if you're in front of the computer all day uh, you really need to be able to get outside and take lots of breaks if you can that's why I'm very happy I've got this new lifestyle where I'm not cooped up in a room somewhere I can find the time to go out go for a walk the dog I have a dog called Frank. Uh, he's getting old now though, but um, yeah, I've got to walk him in a minute. <laughs> uh, I haven't got any kids, uh, so that helps me to spend lots of time doing this sort of thing and helps me sort of push myself to my potential and give out to other people. That's how I kind of think about life. Uh, instead of having kids, I can spend time, right, instead of looking after my own kids and trying to teach them, I can teach other people and give back to the world. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of kids out there uh, that probably need my support and adding another set <laughs> is probably uh, not going to help matters. That's, um, will I cut that bit out? That just sounds weird. It makes me, I'll probably just sound weird anyway, so I'll leave it in. <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> I'm very much a people person. I try to live quite minimally, so uh, I've talked about not spending any money and be really frugal. It's probably a bit stupid doing that at times because uh, you end up hurting yourself if you're too frugal. Uh, and that's... Uh, why I never bought any courses and was trying to learn on YouTube by dotting into videos, but it can be really difficult and your learning can be quite fragmented with that sort of thing. Same with other things like buying assets if you wanted to build a game or something. Just, yeah, I think you probably know what I mean. It's, it's tough though because you can't always afford it. And uh, I suppose that's always the mentality that I had was try and do everything for nothing uh, and do it by your bare hands. But um, sometimes you need a bit of help to push you along if you can afford it, like I say. 
Uh, I'm very philosophical. Uh, you could say spiritual and Christian, but I, I'm not very evangelical, so don't sort of say, you've got to become a Christian. Uh, <laughs> that can get uh, annoying as well. And uh, yeah, I know people who do that. Uh, and I don't want to seem judgy. Uh, and that's, I think, a problem with the Christian faith at the moment. It seems very uh, judgy. It's always judging people, whereas you're definitely not supposed to do that as a Christian. <laughs> but it's easy to fall into. I'm not judging those people that judge either. <laughs> oh dear, what am I? Doing? This is getting stupid now. Anyway, uh, okay, so if you've got this far, uh, you've done very well, and you're obviously a big fan, or you accidentally left the, the video running or something. So, as a thank you, the first two people that comment with, I watch till the end, uh, will get a free course, either drawing or character, whichever one you choose. Uh, so there's a drawing course that I have and a character course. Uh, I think that's probably enough for me. How long have I been going on for? Don't know. It's probably somewhere around here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you're probably really bored by now. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. Remember, if you got this far, uh, say I watched till the end in the comments below uh, so that I can uh, give those uh, coupons out to you uh, as a thank you. Uh, but generally, thanks to everybody that uh, supported me uh, through this massive journey. Uh, even if you're a recent subscriber, uh, thanks for subscribing. And uh, there's plenty more to come. <laughs> Let's hope so anyway. Plenty more of this rubbish to come. Hopefully not too much of this rubbish. More tutorials, that's what you're after, isn't it? Surely. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.